else. Okay, we are live. Hello and welcome. I'm actually going to find you guys on my computer real quick so that I have you guys up. It's going to take a little bit. Scroll on down. Oh, come on. Refresh. Gotta love the joys of Facebook. It doesn't want to load it up. That right there pinned, that is set to be pinned, is the shopping link. You can shop that link. Okay, now let's scroll on down. Can we find the live? So I can actually see comments. There's the live. We're gonna mute you. This way I can see if there's any comments. We're gonna close you up. Hello and welcome, I'm still getting set up. Please bear with me. There you go, the pen. I'm going to take that off. Hopefully comments show up. That's why I put my computer here today. Hello, Marcia, welcome. Hello, Dorian, welcome. I'm going to start cooking because I'm starting to get that whole shaky body vibrating sensation and I haven't had it in a while and so I need to eat so I can take some time now. So that's what we're going to do. I'm reaching over here so you're getting a close-up of me just so I can get my knife. We're going to start with our smoked turkey sausage. This is what we're going to start with. What are we making? We are making the chicken fried rice. I've only made it one other time before, so hopefully it is delicious and yummy. How are you guys doing tonight? And what are you guys doing for dinner? This was a, I did the poll, and this is what won. So this is what we're making. So now I'm going to just cut up my sausage. This is what's going to take a little bit. So, we're cutting up the sausage. And then what's fun about it is the, the recipe is right here on the back. That's probably backwards for you guys. I don't know how to flip my camera. I'm not that, oh, that, that good a bit. It says, in a small bowl, whisk together the sodium-free soy sauce, water, and, ses and sesame oil. My sesame oil is in our prep bowl right here and then I haven't gotten that yet I'm gonna cook up my sausage first that's what we're doing we're working at cutting that up and so I'm gonna need a small bowl because the seasoning gets poured into that and here's our small bowl so now I've cut that piece in half so now we're just gonna chop that up so I hope you guys enjoy watching me cook I love to cook I need to start being a little bit better about cooking on, on the lives, showing you guys how easy it is to cook with Epicure. It's just that simple. You plan your recipes around Epicure. You can easily do that. It, it's simple. It's easy. Epicure has fun, tons of fun products such as the prep bowls and the measuring spoon which we'll be using a little bit later. The measuring spoon is wonderful. I like the measuring spoon. It is designed to have a multi-purpose because it's got the one teaspoon, the half teaspoon, and one tablespoon. So you can easily measure out. And then the top of it is so so flat that you can use it as a leveler. So not only can you pair these together, you can level out your food as well. Hi Barbara, welcome. We are cooking dinner tonight. We are making the chicken fried rice, but instead of chicken, we are using this pre-cooked, already cooked um, turkey sausage, but I'm going to brown it up. And I'm just cutting it up right now. And while I'm browning that up, I want my onions. My onions are right here. I have them sitting out because they were in the oven. In the oven. They were in the freezer. So I'm just going to take a few of the onions. And they're just diced up onions. Maybe about the equivalent to, to what I think is about half of an onion, which would be about right there. So this will now go back in the freezer. Great frozen onions. I like to pre-chop. And now we're just going to continue to finish chopping up our sausage. I just cut that in pieces smaller than those ones. It's okay. It depends on how small you want your sausage. 
when when my body starts doing that whole vibrating thing because of my health issues, my brain goes out the window. But it's all good. How is everybody doing today? I know. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good. I love to cook. That, that's flat out simple and easy. I'm not the best at cutting. My husband came home yesterday and said, I watched your video. Be careful with your fingers. Your fingers were awfully close to that knife. <laughs> so yes, he gets on me as well because he knows how accident prone I am and I have a tendency. That's why I'm trying to do a little bit better today. I'm glad you're doing good. It's hot here. It's like almost in the 90s here. And according to my computer right down here, it look, says it's going to rain. So we're getting ready to have rain. So with how hot it was and it's starting to rain, it might be lucky if the power doesn't go out. <laughs> Better start my cooking now like I had planned. So we'll just finish cutting up our sausage. Be careful with my knife because it is a really sharp knife. What do you have planned for dinner? Anybody on there? What What are your plans for dinner? 90 to me is too hot. Literally too hot. I don't like being hot. Um, I would rather have it be like 72 to 75, like the perfect temperature. I'm not one for hot weather or extreme cold weather. So now that that is chopped up, we're going to go ahead and turn you on. Uh, do I have a better spatula than that one? That one is like broken in half because it got melted by the dishwasher. So I'm going to see if I got a better one in the dishwasher. I do. I actually have my pampered chef one, so that'll work. So there we go. We'll slip that one right there. Okay. Now let's work on our sauce so it can be set and ready and waiting for us. We need our, our sesame oil. We have a fourth cup of ses fourth cup fourth teaspoon of sesame oil. It's gonna go in our bowl. And yes, I have it in our one cup measuring cup prep bowls. These are wonderful. They come in a set of four actually. I have four. There's three here and then there's this one. But what's even more wonderful about them that I, that I showed earlier? They have lids. And so they make the perfect serving size for like pudding desserts or like carrots and stuff that you want to take to work. Or Absolutely wonderful. Okay, we got that. And then instead of soy sauce, I'm going to use a little bit of teriyaki. So I'm going to get my, my measuring spoon here. We're going to use the measuring spoon. How much did it say? Two tablespoons. So two tablespoons would be this one. So we're going to get two tablespoons. And it's going to be kind of slow. So we're going to get our two tablespoons. There's one. Instead of soy sauce, I'm using teriyaki sauce. And it, make sure it's low sodium if you're watching your salt intake. Uh, mine is just the generic Kroger brand. And we're going to set that aside. And then it says two teaspoons of water. So let me get my two teaspoons of water. I'm going to put that right into the measuring cart bowl. Okay, so I just used our measuring spoon and put it in the prep bowl because it makes it easier. And then we're just going to pour that in there as well. And apparently drop the prep bowl. Sorry if that was loud. Okay. So now we are going to get into our seasoning mix, which is right here. And we're going to cut it open. To cut it open, we're going to use our Epicure meat cutting scissors. They're, they're maybe meat cutting scissors, but they work for all multi-purpose. They are extremely, extremely sharp. So now I'm going to pour this in here, like it says. And if I think it needs a little bit more water, I will add a little bit more water. But let me stir our onions and our sausage. And earlier, 
I don't know if you guys watched the, the video I did earlier. I actually made our pre-made our rice in the steamer pot, which is right here. So there's our rice. Our sausage is browning up with our onions. And then I have cabbage right here. I pretty much guesstimate on how much I use, which we'll use. And then I'm going to stir this up real quick to make sure it gets all stirred in. And that smells absolutely delicious. So there's our, our, our seasoning, our flavoring. We're going to set that right up there on the side. Now we're going to get just the flowers off of the broccoli. So we're going to get our broccoli out. So we got our broccoli. And I'm going to open up the cabbage because I'm going to put the broccoli on top and, and the cauliflower on top. But I'm actually going to add cauliflower too. I was debating on if I wanted to add carrots, but I chose not to add carrots this time. Because I've been cooking with carrots an awful lot lately. I don't know about anybody else, but I've been cooking with carrots an awful lot lately. So we're still waiting on these to brown up a little bit. So we're going to let them just continue to cook on medium high. And then I'm going to get my knife and carefully just cut the flowers off. We want just the flowers. It makes it to where it's more tender and you don't get the stock. So that was one little tiny head. <laughs> I didn't break them off. I'm going to do at least, maybe, depending on how this one goes, I might do one more after this. That sausage is starting to smell really good. Okay, so there is our broccoli. Put this back over here and out of the way. Let's stir our sausage. I'm a loud cook. I'm sorry if I'm like clinging and clinging. I'm also a messy cook. I don't know who else is a messy cook. I'm going to raise my hand. I'm a messy cook. Okay. I just, my bowl right here is small. Mm, we're going to go ahead and turn this down a little bit now. And we're going to go ahead and add some of the cabbage. It's pre-cooked cabbage. This is just over a half a head of cabbage. So we're going to add maybe about half of it. So I would say about that, that much. And we're just going to let that cook down. And then we're going to add cauliflower and broccoli to it too in just a minute so that they can cook down as well. And notice we didn't add any extra really grease or anything, so it's going to wilt down with just what's natural in here. And you can add butter, you can add oil. Our oil is actually in our seasoning. We're not going to add the seasoning until we get ready to add our rice. Okay. I lied. I want some garlic in with this bit right here. So I picked up my garlic, but I did my measuring spoon. I put it in the sink. Okay. I'm going to take a teaspoon of, of our garlic aioli, and I'm going to sprinkle that on here. So we're going to add garlic to this part. You don't have to. I just feel like I want to. And it smells amazing. I'll tell you that right now. It smells absolutely amazing. Okay, now that our cabbage is getting down there, I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli. 
while I get ready to cut up the, the what little bit of cauliflower I have because it's already going to be when it's pre-chopped. So I might just pick out the big pieces, which is right there. And the smaller pieces can go in here. So there's smaller pieces of cauliflower. And we'll keep the bigger pieces. So that's maybe a fourth of a cup of cauliflower chopped. And then we're just going to let this cook down. And once it is cooked down, we are going to... Can I put the lid back on here? Let's set that lid on. Once this is cooked down, we're actually going to go ahead and add our rice. This is going to take a few minutes, but it smells amazing. And pretty much we're using the saltiness from the sausages to flavor everything that's in this pan as it's cooking. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We just cook it down. Let it stand still here. There we go. I turned it down. That's why it's not cooking as fast. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw it all together because that will help flavor everything else in the pan as well, more than what it already is. So we're going to get our rice first, which is already pre-cooked from the microwave. i got to break it up because it's pre-cooked. <laughs> it's been sitting down, cooling down, so it's kind of clumpy. It is a mixture of brown and white rice. so. That, that's wonderful as well, brown and white rice. I'm going to put that in the sink. Now we're going to get our seasoning here. We're going to make sure we scrape it all out. We get every last bit of it and sprinkle it all throughout. And of course we're going to stir it. Get all that garlic and everything, all the flavoring. It smells amazing. And then just kind of mix everything through and just let it sit and simmer and cook. And it'll be a delicious dinner. That is how fast, how simple and easy it is to cook with Epicure. Now I'm just going to kind of let everything sit and simmer through. And that is a delicious dinner. I'm going to get a fork. Do a little bit of everything on here. Look at that bite. Yum. That is so, so good. So, I'm not sure if you can see my pan. But here is my pan. Look at how delicious that is. Yum. A delicious meal made in 20 minutes. You can go up to 40 minutes, but absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you want to order, the link is pinned or up above. If you need help with anything, just let me know and I will help you. Thank you.